Oh, hello, folks who's there watching the show. Ooh, it's the show that's Apocalypse Tips with the Lester Pips. And that's who I am, is the Lester Pips, the one from the name, the one from the title. That's the show, what it's show, it's show, it's what the show is. I didn't lie to you with the big title saying, hey, it's Apocalypse Tips with Lester Pips. And then it turns out my name's like John Wayne or something like that. No, that's a famous movie star from the Cowboys. I'm not that guy. I'm a different guy. I'm Lester Pips, the one from the title. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, what's the show's about? And you know what? I'll tell you in a little bit, but let me tell you what I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Is coming up way later, we're going to be talking to a nameless cultist. There's going to be guests on the show, and one of them is a nameless cultist. And prior to him, we're going to be talking to a regular businessman named Reggie Man. Ooh, I'm excited to find out what makes this business so regular. And we're going to be talking to a guy who's been living in his stepdad's basement named Kyle Wow, what a packed show. Before we can get to that show, though, we do have to get to the intro, though. Apocalypse Tips with Lester Pips is the show that you're currently watching. It's about to start with his amazing guests, and they're going to tell you how to survive out in the apocalypse. It's Apocalypse Tips with Lester Pips. Boo! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! And thanks again, as always, to the wonderful Dr. Ron Rabinak for making that song. Brother Dr. John, famous Louisiana Bayou musician family. Now, the reason I say that is because I want to tell you right from the bat. I'm back in Louisiana, baby. Yeah. If you listened to a couple episodes ago when I had to uh, accidentally aired my therapy session with my wives, you know that we was in Australia. We had a little bit of a problem. Now we realize the solution to our marital issues is to bring Idris Elba into our relationship. So we moved back to Louisiana because he's more likely to be there than Australia. Now, all of that is to say, I just wanted to catch you up on a little bit of the wife law as uh, as uh, uh, a fan, friend of the show in the comments very often, Wizworld Live called it. Uh, but more importantly, we got a great show tonight, okay? I'm Lester Pips from the Apocalypse Tips in the title. You know this. We already talked about it if you watched the beginning of the show. But there's that 30-second ad thing on Twitch, so I am going to repeat myself. Sorry. Way later on in the show, he's going to be talking to someone I'm very excited to meet, a nameless cultist. <laughs> Part of them, he's going to be talking to a regular businessman named Reggie Man. Ooh, okay. And he's going to talk to a guy who's been living in his stepdad's basement named Kyle. And you know what? Some people would say living in his stepdad's basement, well, that doesn't sound so good, but maybe it's good. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe his stepdad's basement is a very, very secure bunker. I, of course, am now back in my bunker in Louisiana outside my ex-wife's backyard. Well, underneath my ex-wife's backyard because <laughs> that's where bunkers go is under the ground, if you didn't know. And, and of course, I am answering Apocalypse Tips questions as I always do. But before we get to those, it's important. It's legally required now. There's a new law, I guess. Uh, it's not law. It's not law, but my publicist told me to do it. I gotta tell you what day it is. It is, of course, May 27th, which is National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day. If you don't believe me, look that up. I that that is a real thing. National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day. We got holidays for everybody, and I love it. Now, in New Orleans, we have very specific traditions about that. I'm sure you have traditions at home where, I don't know, maybe you, for National Hairstylist Awareness Day, maybe you, uh, I don't know, maybe you, like, comb your hair for the first time in your whole life. Maybe that's what you do. I don't know. Your traditions are your traditions. But in Louisiana, they're a little different. In New Orleans, on National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day, all hairstylists get free gumbo at Brennan's if they can prove that they do, in fact, do hair. And... I prove, I don't mean do hair because nobody makes you do your job for free. That's not cool. Okay, it wouldn't be free gumbo if you had to do hair to do it. You just have to be able to prove that you're a hairstylist. I don't know. Maybe that means bringing a paycheck. Maybe that means bringing a, a, a couple of witnesses who can say, yeah, I saw that person do hair. Whatever you do to prove it, you get free gumbo at Brennan's. Now, in Baton Rouge, if your mama or papa is a hairstylist, then you as a child are required to stay in school until 9 p.m. to give your parents a full day off. And, of course, statewide in Louisiana, if you want a haircut on National Mental Health, the National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day, well, you got to do it yourself. Them hairstylists get the day off. Now, I'm very glad that I told you about the day because it's a crazy day. People don't know about that day, but it's real. <laughs> As I've said a couple of times, for some reason, I'm really hung up on the idea of a National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day. It's just so surprising. But anyway, I had apocalypse questions come to me this this. 
Uh, <laughs> Brother Wags in the chat asked, did I open, miss the opening theme song? Brother, I got to tell you, <laughs> you did, but don't worry. It's coming up again at the end. Stick around. Uh, 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 now, of course, I had many questions similar to that one, but mostly about apocalypses get sent to me on my Instagram at Lester Pips. Actually, one of them was sent to my publicist as a party. Um, but but uh, uh, let me get to them questions. So first one comes from a user named at Future Man Hulu. Hmm. Seems like a might be the Hulu show Future Man asking me a question. Uh, they ask, what song do you think will still be popular in 100 years? OK, that's a good question. Now, uh, assuming that there is an apocalypse, which there will be, of course, that's what we're pre preparing for. You know, all them COVID's not up in the air anymore. So this isn't quite the apocalypse we thought it was. Less COVID's in the air. Well, well I guess there's the same number of COVID's up there, but there's more. Um, we all got injected with, if you got the vaccine, which you should. You should get the vaccine if you didn't. Uh, uh, we all get injected with vaccines, which now when we breathe, we spit vaccines up into the air that fight the COVIDs up in the air. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, what song do I think will still be popular in 100 years? I don't know, probably Rickroll. Probably Rickroll will be a popular song. Nobody's going to stop Rickrolling. That, you can't stop the Rickroll. You know that. Now, uh, uh, my next question comes from BunkerPerv69. Oh, boy. That's uh, not off to a great start there, BunkerPerv69. Um, BunkerPerv69 asks, do you watch your crush genitals before oral sex? <sighs> okay, this is the one that came to my publicist Ezra Partier, and I gotta say, I want you to start, uh, uh, Ezra, I'm talking to you. I want you to start vetting the questions, okay? But I will answer this one. Do you watch your crush genitals before oral sex? Yeah, do your partner a favor, all right? Don't, unless they ask you not to, I guess. I, but this isn't about that, this isn't a sex show, okay? And if it is a post-apocalyptic scenario where you don't have access to water, you got to conserve water, you're better off probably saving that for drinking than washing. But, you know, <laughs> if you're trying to get some, you're trying to get some. Anyway, my next question comes from BunkerPerv96. Okay, and I did I did approve this question. So it's not a great start with the name, but uh, the question is, what illegal thing do you do on a regular basis? <laughs> uh, be this sexy? Is that an okay answer? Can I say that? <laughs> uh, both my wives told me not to say that. They said it was a bad joke and I shouldn't do it. Anyway, oh, Brother Wags has another question. Can please play it again, please? Um, no, <laughs> sorry. That the show goes in a particular order. You, I, I'm so sorry, Brother Wags. I appreciate you being here, but it's just you know the the, the intro song goes before the show. And the outro song goes at the end of the show. And if we start bringing songs in in the middle when it's not a guest song, then what are we doing? We're living in anarchy, okay? And we just we just got the vaccine so we could be in less anarchy. I'm not going to start causing more anarchy by playing the theme song more than once. The intro song at a not intro time? That's crazy. Um, user Elon has a question, which is, what do I do during the end of the world if I have explosive diarrhea? Ooh, okay, great question. Um, depends how explosive. If it's so explosive that it could cause damage to anyone around you, then what I would recommend you do is get down in a bunker, stay down there, and blow yourself up. Uh, I don't want you to blow up, but I don't want anyone else to blow up either. So if you're already going to, you might as well do it alone. Um, but if you just mean, like, you really have to, you know, let something out, a little booty hole. Um, if you just mean... <laughs> If you just have to let something out of your little booty hole, then what I recommend you do <laughs> is find yourself a bathroom. Um, okay, Wisebot has things to say, but we're not going to talk to Wisebot. We've we've had our battles with Wisebot on previous episodes. I'm not going to get into another fight with Wisebot. Okay, Wisebot's not so wise. We talked about this. Anyway, y'all, it's now time for the first guest, okay? I told you that I was going to be talking to a guy who's been living in his stepdad's basement named Kyle, and well... Here he is. Kyle, welcome to the stroll. I'm going to find my fucking vape anywhere. And get me. Get me. Kyle. You know where my vape is. Shit, you take it to work? Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, you, you scratching your crotch right on, right on screen. Are you my conscience? No, oh, Kyle. I, I'm oh, fuck. The thing. The thing. The thing. Yeah, the, the, thing. the show you has to be on, Kyle. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I That's up. okay. I'm glad you're here. This me. I'm glad I'm here. I made it. That's right. I have the right attitude. Yeah. Well, Kyle, I mean, uh, 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 you emailed me saying that you wanted to get on the show so you could talk about how you've been surviving uh, uh, during all these COVID scares being up in the air. Uh, 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 what's been going on? How's the stepdad's basement? 
oh man, dude, like you think you you think you know what real incarceration is until you have to stay. I needed my stepdad's help, and now he's just kind of been holding that over me this whole time. You know, this should have been the Mad Max times. I should have been out on my dirt bike, spikes on my back, beautiful breasted woman, just taking over the, tr the tri can I say tribe? I think so. Taking uh, over the tribe and leading us to Nirvana. Instead, I'm in fucking Mike's basement. Some okay. So, okay, so if I'm understanding you correctly, what you're telling me is uh, you're disappointed that the apocalypse wasn't more apocalyptic? Fuck, right? Well, I guess I expected more dystopia, and instead we just got a lot of nopia, you know? Not that all true. inside, no real danger. Virus can't even see it. Why are you scared? I mean, I was, but why? <laughs> yeah, well, because it will probably kill you. I mean, exactly. people will tell you death rates aren't that high, but like still, you know, you don't want to get that thing. Uh, 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 get your vaccines, folks. But uh, Kyle, I, I mean... Uh, what is it about a post-apocalyptic world that seems so, uh, uh, I guess, romantic to you? In a word, love. I think in oh, a post-apocalyptic world, that's where I'm going to find love. I think we all could. Take away all the bullshit, you know? Take away mm. everything. It doesn't matter. Like, well, I love it. But your Hulu, and I love this too. Your Monster Energy, and I really love this. Postmates, but you take all that away, and I feel like you got a clear sight to the person you're meant to be with. And the only way wow. we're gonna do it is if it gets ripped away from us, man. Wow. God, that's kind of beautiful, you know? I, I, I wasn't sure what uh, 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 kind of version of a romantic you were gonna go with when I, when when we started talking about it. But I, I do think that there's a, there's a beautiful heart in there, Kyle, and you're looking for somebody to match it. That's nice. Now, aren't we all, weren't you, Lester? Wasn't there just a tiny part of you in the bunker that was looking around like, Damn, I wish I could get married a third time, right? And it be the one that sticks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, like, like you're, you're absolutely right. At first, and when I was down in the bunker, I was thinking, wife, don't, don't divorce me, uh, please don't. I don't want to be divorced. And then I, I ended up marrying two women at once, and now I, I'm in a trouble, and it's crazy. But uh, you know, uh, uh, that's how life can just change. You know, when it's you're crazy. when you're under the ground, staying safe, which it sounds like you are in the basement. Under the ground, but in your heart, right? Not in your head. That's right. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Do you feel like he was under the ground in your heart? I know Mike loves me. I know my stepdad, okay, well, no, he doesn't. He was pretty clear that he didn't, but I know that he doesn't oh. want me dead. And so I appreciate good. that and I feel it, right? Yeah. But I also feel under it. I'm under loved. I'm underground. I'm under loved. Oh. I'm searching for that end of the world that's gonna find me that above ground love, you know? Wow. Yeah, Kyle, that's, again, beautiful. I love that, I, I, and I want that for you. I'm curious, though, what circumstances led you to living in your stepdad's basement? Shit, you know, I graduated from high school, and that's a pretty big deal. I graduated, I did it, you know, it's it yeah. should, you should, and I did. And I was so pumped to get out there and become a Monster Energy-sponsored dirt bike Ooh. rider. But, man, it just, you know, it didn't materialize. I got to fix it. I haven't gotten to it yet, but as soon as I do, I'm just going to get in there. So, you know, I had to, I had to move home because, like, I'm not really, like, a job job person. I'm more like a hustler. So okay. I didn't really have, yeah, no, I didn't, couldn't really, you know, they wouldn't let me have an apartment. So I had to I had to move it in a, in a Mike's basement. It's fine. And when you say they wouldn't let you have an apartment, do you mean that, like, uh, you apply for a bunch of apartments? You know, man, and, like this whole, okay. like, oh, oh, we're going to the mines, take back the diamonds with the other drawers and fun to the house, and you have to give them all your diamonds, and all you got's an empty house because you gave them all your diamonds shit. Sure, yeah. Uh, which which of the seven dwarfs do you identify with? Is it Grumpy? It's Doc. Doc, yeah. A sociopath identifies with anyone but Doc. He's the leader, the smart one, the heavyweight. That's a good point. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, yeah. What do you uh, identify with? Admit it. Who, is it Sneezy? Because <laughs> no well, one says Sneezy, but you kind of feel it. 
Yeah, I mean, I am known to have allergies from time to time, so I, I do, I do feel like there's there's a bit of a sneezy energy to me sometimes. Uh, you know, all I, all I'll say is the thing that I don't want to be is wheezy because all them COVIDs. <laughs> It's good that we can laugh about it again, you know, because it was the end of the world, almost. Yeah, some people would say I started laughing about it too soon and kept laughing about it for too long, but I, 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 I'm still laughing about it now. Um, You're a bummer. What's going to happen if someone gets mad about it, man? <laughs> that, that's right. Well, I got a divorce, but you know, that's <laughs> that's not here you nor know, there. We don't need to focus on the past. We need to focus on you. Now, so, Kyle, uh, dirt biking—that was your thing. You graduated high school. Congratulations, by the way. And you started oh, dirt fish. biking with the goal of being a Monster Energy drink person. You got a Monster Energy drink in your hand right now. Uh, you gotta uh, keep what, being what seen with the brand if they're gonna take you serious. You know, you gotta keep being seen with it. Like they won't respond to me to say if they sponsored me now, I could pay to fix the bike and then I could be doing more for them, but they don't see it that way because you know the system, remember the diamonds, the mine, the dwarves, all that. Sure, yeah. That's screwing easy. me here too. But you know, the more I'm gonna get tagged and stuff and shown and stuff, it's like this is dedication, right? I love that. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope that that happens for you. But I am curious, what happened to the bike? Uh, shit. All right. Well, I was doing a whole like, have you ever done a Mad Dog 40? N n I've done a thing where I was 40 years old running away from a Mad Dog, but I don't think that's what you mean. Uh, that's where you take a MD40 and tape it to one hand and a Mad Dog and tape it to the other. And then you ride your bike. So. Oh. I, I got a lot of work to do, but a lot of memories to keep. Do you remember that night? Well, not all of it, but all my friends said it was funny as fuck. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it sounds like it'd be very hard to ride a, a, a dirt bike without your, your free hands. With, with two things taped in your hands, it's like, at what point are you able to press the brake or the gas? Hey, man, I didn't crash. Some fucking parked car got right in front of me. Oh no! I had, it, I had it nailed. You think I'm not a professional? This is why they were thinking about thinking of having me in the first place. Wow, wow! So you never quite made it onto the circuit, then? You you got in this accident right after high school? Well, you know, I've been I've been like I've been around. You know, I I watched some I I followed Johnny Knoxville and all of his friends. You know, and that's like that's okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a start. I mean, you start following people on Instagram, and then eventually they maybe follow you back, and you can go from there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've just I could feel I'm getting defensive. What do you I, mean that you literally followed Johnny Knoxville? Uh, you know, and I just I just wish I had done more in the circuit. You know, I knew it was going to come up. I brought it up. I talked to you about it. And at the That's same true. time, I just wasn't ready to like admit that things have been real hard. I never made into the circuit. Can I even call myself a dirt biker? Maybe I'm just Kyle. Hey, no. You call yourself a dirt biker if that's what you want to do. Because unless you believe it, you'll never make it happen. Ah, oh, shit. That's what, this is why, this is why I wanted to do this. I could feel that you had that energy I needed, man. You're going to get me yeah. back on that saddle, back on that seat. That's right. So, so, so a couple of years ago, you broke the dirt bike. And what have you been doing since then to try to fix it? Have you, have you tried to get, I know you don't want to get into any diamond mining situations with any kind of seven dwarves, but have you tried to, you know, perhaps get into like a coal mining situation with just one dwarf? No, I've been focusing more on trying to DIY it as much as possible. Like right now, I've got the exhaust. Um, it's actually being held on by a Monster Energy drink can. You stick one uh -oh. in the broken part near, and the part that's not broken out the out the top, and then it does sure. the exhaust shit. So, I don't yeah, think it does. I don't mean to naysay you, but I don't think that the, that a, that a, a, an exhaust pipe and a and a Monster Energy drink can are, are interchangeable. <laughs> Come on, man. We were right there vibing for a second. Then you got to come and just yank the. What are you invested? What are you, Montel? Just got to come in there and just rip through everything that's fun. <laughs> No, uh, no, no, for sure, no. I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be ripping anything away from anybody. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about your the state of your bike because it sounds like it's very dangerous to ride. <laughs> no, it's just challenging. You know, there's a thin line between challenging and dangerous, and we're staying right there in the middle. <laughs> it sounds like it. Wow. Well, you know, uh, uh, Kyle, how is your relationship with, you know, you're living in your stepdad's basement. Is your mom up there too, or is it just your stepdad? No, unfortunately, we uh, we lost my mom about six years ago. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Did 
Did she die? Straight to Atlantic City and never came back, you know? Oh, okay. But you know, she's happy doing what she loves. Okay, so she didn't die in Atlantic City. She just left. No, shit. Why are you so morbid, man? I said we just lost her. Not that she died. Yeah, no, it's just a common tracing for. I'm sorry. No, that's on me. You're you're absolutely right. That's on me. That's on me. I, I took the words that you said, interpreted them rationally, and was completely wrong. So I, I'm You're so sorry. You're gonna try and gaslight me, man. I'm a dude too. I know what that is. I've had girlfriends. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I try not to gaslight mine, but I don't know. Why don't you mansplain to me what gaslighting is? Was See that mansplaining, man? I don't mean that you can't have two men mansplaining because it becomes like that magnet effect. We're going to get thrown back up against our back walls. We got to be careful in this conversation. We're going some dangerous directions. You're, you're so right. Two white men just have so many things to worry about when talking to each other. Oh, That's my what my God. stepdad's been saying. <laughs> your stepdad? My, you know, stepdad, Mike. Yeah, I thought you said There's stephusband. I to say right about there. white men and their role in the country. Uh -oh, I don't know that that very <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Wow. Well, well, Kyle, I mean, I have some other guests on the show who we do have to get to, uh, uh, but I, I, I am curious before we do that, uh, 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 would you say uh, that – what are you showing me right now? Oh, my God. Is that a, is that a cat? My Wearing cat's a, licking a the air. Neck? Is he broken? What? I don't understand. My cat's licking the air. Is he broken? Oh my god! I don't know what is that. Is that cat wearing a like a like a neck pad? What is that? That's what I hope he just showed up in it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I'm glad you have a cat down there with you, Kyle. Well, you know, you got you got to keep saying however you can. You thought I was gonna make a pussy joke, I bet, but I didn't. I rise above. Looking for that above love. <laughs> Based on the last couple of things we said, I did expect something like that, for sure. You're absolutely right. Although I am glad you resisted the urge. Or I'm even more glad that it never crossed your mind. But we <laughs> no, it are... <laughs> it crossed your mind, I know. But uh, we are going to get to my next guest. Uh, so stick around, Kyle, and, and, and definitely ask them any questions you got. But my next guest is a regular businessman, and I'm very excited to find out what that means uh their name's reggie man and well here they are reggie man welcome to the show hello mr peeps i am reggie man oh wow hi Re reggie and kyle meet each other this is a, a fun introduction of two friends uh, hello. kyle is that powerpoint that looks dope no these are my business friends kyle you were a human boy i was man. also once a human boy. Wow. Not a lot of uh, adult men describe themselves as former human boys, but it is accurate and true. Now, uh, uh, Reggie, tell me a little bit about your business. It seems like you're in business with these other three guys who don't move a whole lot, but that's just the way that some people are. Uh, uh, what kind of business do you do? Mr. Peeps, my business is very regular. I am a fast food contractor. Tight. I contract fast food for other people to enjoy from my home country of New Jersey. <laughs> Your home country of New Jersey. Again, not a lot of New Jerseyans describe it as a country, but some do. So I get it. That makes sense. We are very proud of New Jersey. We enjoy the tunnel and the tunnel. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, Kyle, Kyle, uh, uh, lost his mom to New Jersey in Atlantic City. That is a shame. I apologize. I interrupted you. Proceed. Atlantic City. R.I.P. <laughs> Worth coming back for, for sure. Now, uh, 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 Reggie, have you, do you have any experience do, selling your fast food? Well, you know what? Actually, no. I'm mixing that question. I'm going back. What is a fast food contractor? Do you mean like kind of like a DoorDash delivery person? Yes, uh, let us go with that. Okay, <laughs> well, tell me about what it means. Describe what you do for work. Very well, Lester Peeps. I will describe to you my job. <laughs> okay, great. My job is I contract fast food franchises. <laughs> I oh, find okay. interesting locations for people who want to build new fast food. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie, man. 
Are you are you guys the ones that make those like KFC Pizza Hut fusions? Uh, um, <laughs> yes. Let us yes. go with that. We are fans on this planet. We are fans. Absolutely. Now that makes me think Why of something. Why did you I say to... that? Why what, did fans? you say We've planet? Fans? Why, pl planet. Do you said the word planet? Yeah, Kyle, yeah. you said we are fans on this planet. Uh, 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 no, are we was not? There a that? Are we oh, not? Yeah. Did I make myself you... so stupid? No, no, no. It was... As they say on Earth, common misunderstanding. I do say that on Earth. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> similar, similar misunderstanding. There's pointing out that it's a planet, pointing out that it's Earth. That makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, uh, <laughs> Reggie, man, this this your job made me think of something that we used to do on the show, which is uh, I would uh, describe to anyone who wanted to know how to break into a particular Popeyes how to do it, because of course I have been to all of them and do know how to do that. Uh, um, have you been contracting a lot of Popeyes locations, and are there any I should be aware of? We are not aware of this Popeyes. We are not interested in contributing to Popeyes. Our only business is with. Globos, a com com company. Wow, a, a new fast that food place that I never heard of. That's yes, Globos, a com com company, is an exciting fast food opportunity for Earth. Er, uh, I mean New Jersey. Er, uh, I mean all of planet Earth. Okay, uh, Reggie, man, I don't usually ask my guests this, but um. Where in New Jersey are you from? Uh, 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 Atlantic City. That's where my mom went. Exactly. Wow. What, a, what a crazy connection. Now, Reggie, man, I also don't usually ask my guests this, but um, are you an alien? Uh, uh, you can ask someone's uh, immigrant status, man. You're yes. Fuck. The human boy Kyle is correct. You do not ask people that. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't mean like a legal alien. Like, you're welcome in this country. I don't have a problem with you or anything. I was just curious, like, if you are from another planet. Because Globos is not... I mean, look, I know a lot about fast food. I talk about fast food on the show almost every episode, as long as I don't forget to. Um, <laughs> uh, and so I, I just I feel like Globos, a Camcom company, which is a, com a corporation I've never even heard of, it made me think immediately of the Looney Tunes uh, and their fight against uh, 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 the the aliens that is in the Space Jam movie, which, of course, I've never seen, but I know about. We are well aware with the Space Jam. We have lost two previous Space Jams. It was unfair. The Looney Tunes cheated those bastards. Those cheating bastards. So you, so you are an alien? No, no. That was... Uh, uh, a joke. Okay. It's strange because you seem to have very robot-like mannerisms. No. Uh, 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 that is because I am a uh, immigrant. A uh, uh, immigrant. Okay, well. English is second I'm language. I've, I've learned uh, uh, many times over the course of my life from reading news about other people screwing up that you don't press harder on that question. Uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> So I, I will say, uh, Reggie, you know, it looks like your business partners are, are, are very nice men. Um, how do you find dealing with other folks at work? Is it easy? Is it fun? It is entertaining. The humans obey or they get fried. Okay. okay. I mean, it, it's uh, the wording that you're choosing. This makes it really hard for me to what believe wording? anything other than you're probably a Explain. robot. Explain. Well, you called them the humans. You said they obey or they get fried, which is just not like a very like, I don't know. I mean, middle management sometimes does try to fry people, but uh, uh, I don't know. It just seems like it just seems like. Hey, listen, you know, Kyle and I established earlier that this is a safe place for for men to talk. Um, so if you want to tell us something, I think you'll be safe, right, Kyle? You won't you won't feel weird if if Reggie Man turns out to be a real alien, huh? You won't. You won't feel like. Uh, you won't make it weird if yeah, it turns out yeah, that the man is yeah, alien. Yeah, I'm for it. You human boy us, Kyle. Human boy Kyle. Man, we must have. 
human man Kyle, we must have a sidebar. Okay. We must yeah, talk. Okay. Yeah, I'll meet you outside, man. All right. Oh, wait. No, okay, here. I'll, <laughs> you talk. I I'll cannot go on mute. rise. I, can't I cannot rise. Human boy Kyle <laughs> return. Human boy Kyle return. Here, I can give you a sidebar. I'll take off for just a second. I'll let you two have. The, I'll let you two have the show. Thank you, Lester. Human boy Kyle, if I were to offer you riches beyond your wildest belief, would you destroy the human known as Lester Peeps? I want currency and uh, whatever you give me. Does it uh, get taxed? No, it is Disney dollars. Only acceptable in Disneyland Park and Resort. And I can't go through Disney anymore, man. Plus, I don't want to get in the middle of whatever your tiff is with Lester. Were you his roommate or something? I'm, I'm been kind of in and out. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm not. Lester P, <laughs> please return. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Why I thought we were doing a TikTok, right? <laughs> no, no, do not understand. What? Mannerisms, mannerisms, mannerisms. Oh, look like look look like Reggie Man froze there for a second. Is it okay for me to come back? Mannerisms, yes, mannerisms, no, mannerisms, no, mannerisms, mannerisms, mannerisms. Not processing human connections. Too hard to understand. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Reggie Man's business partners all turned into aliens. Yes. <laughs> Oh Foolish humans. You thought I was a human? I am actually free aliens in a human suit. Oh my god. Uh, Reggie, I gotta tell you, I didn't really think you were human. The whole time I was pretty convinced you were an alien based on the way you talked. No, really? Uh, yeah, what man. gave it away? Oh, kind of like the pattern of speech, the vocal, like the vocal diet, uh, 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 Diameter? That's not right. The local range you, you were speaking in, uh, the words that you were choosing, um, and most of the details of your life. They didn't all add up, I'll be honest with you. Lester, that is very sad to hear. We worked really hard on this. We took four years of space improv. Oh, so well, so that you make along the way. <laughs> yes. Right. Do right. you know what the first rule of space improv is? Um, well, yes, Sam. Yes, and laser. <laughs> Is that how humans laugh? <laughs> Some humans. I think Woody Woodpecker comes to mind. Uh, I guess he's a woodpecker, not a human. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, that's not how he laughs either. He does like, or whatever. But anyway, that's not the point. Uh, the point is, uh, uh, Reggie, man, you are three aliens in one. What brings yes. you to Earth? Are, are you, it, was the Glorbos thing true? Are you trying to bring space fast food to planet Earth? Yes, Reggie is trying oh. to bring great alien fast food to planet Earth. We found that you are, how do you say, possible market for expansion. Well, thank God, because... All the alien lore that I have experienced on, on the show before or in uh, my concerns about apocalypses for my whole life, uh, well, adult life, of course, uh, uh, have been like aliens kind of trying to take planet Earth over forcibly. But if you all you're trying to do is bring us some nice new food, well, that's that's cool. I like food. Yes, the food will be delicious for all of us. <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. Pretend I didn't laugh. That was a mistake. Fart noise. Okay. So, so there's three of you in one human body. Do you all have different yes. voices and different names? Yes, we do. Right now, you're talking to Alien One. You may think, wow, that's a really lazy name. But no, <laughs> that's just what our name is. Okay. No, I, I won't judge you by your name. I mean, look at yes. my name. Lester Pips. Now, it sounds like do you wish to talk to Alien Number Two? Dude, that'd be great. Is that really alien number two's name? No, he just likes to go by that name. He's a weird guy. You know, we don't really talk about it. Sure. I'd, lo I'd love to meet alien number two. All right. Uh, hey, Reggie, Whoa. what's up? How's it going? Oh, man. Alien number two, when alien number two is yeah. in charge of the body, it turns purple. 
That's so yeah, cool. I go from like a Ned Flanders T-shirt to like a, a that girl from Chocolate Factory who eats a blueberry gum. Uh -huh. That's what I look like. <laughs> uh -huh. It sure is. Wow. Well, uh, Alien Number Two. How how did you and Alien Number One? And I'm guessing Alien Number Three. But no, I that's not his name. Oh, okay. Um, well, we can't really say his name because it's a slur. So. Oh no! Then let's not say it. <laughs> Sorry about let's that. Say I mean, we told him about it, but he was like, "My freedom of speech, my freedom of speech." You know, we didn't want to get into it. Um, just call it number three. Yes, you were going to ask Lester. Yeah, I was going to ask. How did the three of you get together in this human body? Ah, uh, it's a very funny story. We all filled out a questionnaire, and an algorithm assigned us together. Um, when I think about it, it's actually not that funny. Yeah, no, there's no, not a single book in You were put together by an algorithm, like Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Together. It's like a sitcom for millennials. Kyle, <laughs> did you know that actually Facebook, we invented it? No. I couldn't guess. Zuckerberg's we Zuckerberg's dropped it on Earth. Too? See, before we decided that you guys were a good market for expansion, we were going to expand into your market, as in we were going to take over Earth. So we dropped mm. one of our aliens. His name is Mark Zuckerberg. He kind of got out of hand. <laughs> I knew I've always, I've always had a working something. theory that Earth was basically just the trash of other planets. So this works. No, that's Mars. It. That's Mars. You don't want to see that, honestly. You know, you stay off Mars, man. Mars is dope. You stay off Mars. <laughs> Kyle, why do you feel so strongly about Mars? This is cool. It's cool. They flew a helicopter on Mars. That's crazy. Don't mess with Mars. It's not even a joke. Mars Do you want to know what Mars is like for us aliens? Yeah. Man, Lester, this guy's just trying to piss me off now. Mars is like Las Vegas. It's a bunch of strippers. Lester. There's Control Penn and Teller. Lester. And then there's yeah, also, boy. for some insane reason, a theme park yes. in there. What are you going to do? I'm in a different state. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, you gotta control your rage because we're learning something about alien life right now. I mean, yeah. I know you hopped up on Monster, and I know you can't ride your dirt bike to let off that steam. But, but Kyle, you gotta, you gotta stay under control because we're learning about aliens right now. I mean, come on, that's that's mind blowing stuff. Your stepdad doesn't—he probably won't even believe you about this. I'm yeah, sorry. I know, I know. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Reggie, man. I'm sorry. That's not our name. <laughs> you can call us Reggie. Yes. Do you want to meet Alien Number Three? Yeah, absolutely. He's a bit of a fire starter, so watch out for uh -oh. him. Yeah, I don't want to know his name. Uh, oh, Louis C.K. did not get what he deserved. I just want to say cancel culture has gone way out of hand. And if you oh, want to ask me what? something, I don't maybe she... Uh, sorry about that. He's gone. Um, okay. He has very <laughs> okay. weird opinions. God, there's always one. You get, you get, yeah. you get three male aliens together. One of them's going to be a Louis, Louis C.K. The, the thing is, we all learned about Earth through your pop culture, but Alien mm -hmm. Number Three, all he got was Spike TV and YouTube oh, no. channels that have been banned. But Probably they went like to like show that stuff. weird far right YouTube that only one be person goes to. You know the one. That's the only <laughs> one he got. Well, I, God, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must be difficult for the three of you to work together when one of you is so crazy and far to the uh, right. He's racist against humans. We kind of just let him do his whole thing. He kind of wears himself out. Oh, gosh. Well, sounds like a drunk uncle. Uh, yes, now, like the popular Saturday Night Live character, Drunk Uncle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, God, Alien Number 3 sounds just like Bobby Moynihan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bobby uh, has repented for his sins. No, no. Um, he's like that. He's exactly like that. We met Bobby <laughs> Moynihan, and he you is did? just as bad as Drunk Uncle. Yes. Why did you think he got kicked out of SNL? Well, I thought his, that was so us. contract expired. No, <laughs> really? that, that was, was us. Yes, we're the ones keeping Colin Joe still around. <laughs> You're <Wow>. welcome. <laughs> well, some people would thank you. I'll say... Yeah. You can put your opinions out there. You're not ruining anyone's career in comedy. Come on, Lester. <laughs> what do you true. really think? I, I, think, I think it's fun. To, I think it, it is. I think that my 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 opinion uh, and one that I'm that I share with my publicist at his party here is that uh, uh, Colin Joe's doing Michael Che's jokes is not funny, but it is progressive in a weird way, and it's interesting uh, um, for the people. And I can say that because I'm purple. Anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I have uh, a dream. <laughs> free at last. Free at last. Racism is over. We elected Obama. Oh, no. Come on. I oh, mean, you no. did, not me. <laughs> I'm no. sorry. <laughs> No, that's okay. Reggie did that cross uh, I'm going to change the other yeah, alien. Okay, we're going back to alien number one? Okay, great. I'm back. I'm back. I'm more normal. I'm the normal alien. Yes, and you have the same voice that you did earlier. This makes no, I, sense. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. now, uh, now, alien number one, uh, 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 What what's your timeline for TakeOver? Do you think that you're going to have uh, Glorbos on every block in the near future? Yes. We're going by what we call Quibi rules. By that, we mean a very uh -oh. rapid expansion. And then six months later, we're going to sell all of our assets to Roku. Gotcha, Quibi! Gotcha! <laughs> Aha! That's the kind of up-to-date topical comedy you can expect from the free aliens. Take that, wow. Jeffrey Kratzenberg. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, uh, this is this is amazing, and I definitely I definitely want to hear more of these three aliens' opinions on American yeah. pop culture. But we do have another guest to get to, and I'm very excited about that guest too. So, so uh, uh, Alien One, Alien Two, and I guess Alien Three. Will you stick around with Kyle and talk to my next guest? I we will, we will, yeah. and the other two say yes. It's not like I don't want to change the effect or something. Anyway, right? No, it's not that it's too much effort to change color. No, nah, it's not. Basically, through you. Great. Well, my next guest is somebody who I'm very excited to talk to. They are a nameless cultist, and I think that's probably what their name is. Nameless cultist, welcome to the show. Hello, Lester. Greetings. Glad Greetings. to be here. Watch that fire. Hello. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, I are you? I are you sitting in the bowels of hell right fire. now? Maybe? Sorry, no, I spoke no. over. You say that again? No, no, I just burned a crop circle. I'm burning a pentagram into a cornfield. It's another failed apocalypse uh, summoning. Oh, you're trying to summon the apocalypse? Well, Kyle wants an apocalypse to happen too, and it sounds like Reggie does in a way. This is crazy. So many apocalypse fans on the show. Usually, it's people warning people about how to survive. But you're an apocalypse fan, nameless cultist. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, that's what the show is about. I was hoping to get some apocalypse tips on how to cause the apocalypse. Oh, well, I got my face. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we can we can certainly talk about that. I mean, I do sure. think that in a way, educating people on what could cause an apocalypse is a way of preventing it. So I I'm open to this concept. Yeah. Uh, so what yeah. have you tried so far? Uh, you know, your average demon summoning, uh, I let my car run in the driveway just all the time, hoping global warming accelerates, uh, you know, oh, no. I, I, uh, buy everything well, That's just plastic. fiscally irresponsible. I mean, like, let alone environmentally irresponsible, but you, if you're just running your car constantly, name was called this, you must be paying a, a fortune in gas. Uh, well, we all pull our resources together here at the cult, so it's, yeah, uh, we are the NSP. Whoa, 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 what? We are aliens. I wish I knew uh, alien. I that would be another avenue of apocalypse. Uh, it, it seems as if I forgot to leave something off. I said, "Do you buy NFTs?" No, I do not. But that could also, you know, contribute to global warming because it's uh, you know, causing uh, all this electricity to be burned. You know, maybe I'll start. And I'm selling NFTs for all my failed uh, apocalypse uh, summonings here. So, well, that's that, that, I mean, that's a great idea. So, uh, I mean, it's bad for the environment, so it's not great in that sense, but it's great for accomplishing your goals. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, nameless, you've been burning crop circles as one method. You've been leaving your car on in, in your driveway, which again, I mean, that's that's a lot. How many people are in your are in this cult? Oh, uh, we're about a uh, hundred and forty strong. If you wow. if you feel more comfortable giving me a name, you could call me number thirty six. Number thirty six. A lot of numbers on the show. Okay, number thirty six. Uh, <laughs> I'll call I'll call you that if that's what you prefer. Sure. Uh, uh, number thirty six. So uh, out of one forty, I mean, wow. You must you you weren't in like at the beginning, but what brought you into this cult? Tell me about what the cult believes. Well, I was really lonely. And I didn't have nothing to do, and uh, you know, I thought, why was, why does why does any of this exist? And then, uh, you know, good old daddy invited me to the Brotherhood of Rainbow Tapestries. And I, 
It had it had all the answers I was looking for, and it also had a goal to end the world. And I said, for the first time in my life, I have a goal, and I'm working towards it. So thank wow. you, Daddy. Wow. Well, in a way, you know, you're a lot like Kyle, who was looking for for guidance, uh, looking for a way to find a goal. Uh, and Kyle, instead of you know getting that dirt bike fixed up, could have gone into the cult world and followed your the same path as you. But we're instead, always recruiting, by the way, Kyle. If you're, you know, looking I'm for. I'm not really a joiner, man. I'm more of a spot be sponsored. But I got to tell you, I heard you say Tapestry has almost got my friend Spike a couple of years too, man. They're like the Scientology of um, fire cults, am I right? <laughs> It's like ding dong. You think it's Avon, but it's tapestries, and you're burning shit in the field. Sorry about Scientology, by the way. That was also us. Oh, we, we were kind of drunk. We were kind of <laughs> drunk that day. That explains so much. Elrond's one of you. Oh no, no, no. He's one of yours. <laughs> we just kind of fucked around with him a little bit. Sorry. Oh, Can I swear uh, on this show? You, you you say whatever you need to say. Absolutely. I'm a very polite alien. Yes, we kind of <laughs> fucked around with him a little bit. Oh man. Well, that's yeah. crazy. Is there a, an Elron H H Hubbard type character in your in your cult, nameless? No, but we have an Elron Howard. He made you have Apollo an Elron fourteen. Howard? Yeah, he made Apollo fourteen. Wow. <laughs> and, Did you do a lot of voiceover during the during how, how the, the Grinch day? gave back Christmas? Okay, <laughs> well, that's great. So we have uh, but, gave it back. It starts at a sequel. No, 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 no. The movie starts with the Grinch. He has a lot of Christmas. And uh, the Woohoos <laughs> who lived out in Booville hate Christmas. And he's uh, bringing Christmas to them. Uh, oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Cool. It's a very original idea. Mm. It is. Um, that's great. Uh, uh, I would watch that movie, even though, the only, of course, everyone knows I've only ever seen the LSU Football Tigers football games. But uh, but Nameless Cultists, what about you? Is there an L. Ron Hubbard type character in your cult? Uh, it would probably be Bit Daddy or Number One, as we often recall call him. Yeah. Yeah, well, what is he like? Is he is he charismatic? Is he a, 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 an accomplished science fiction writer, or is he kind of like Bagwan uh, in, in that one cult show, where which of course I haven't seen, or where he's just really good at fucking all the people in the cult? Well, honestly, uh, I haven't worked up to that. You got to be a uh, a rainbow level cultist to uh, get in the fuck circle, and I'm still at brown, oh. the brown level. Brown's not even on the rainbow, so I don't know how low that is, or if I'm even if they invented that just for me. Th so. Thirty six. It's not that I'm interested. In, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Like is Apologies. it like concentric, or like Vin, or like spiral? Like what does it look yeah, like? If you what's go the alignment? Oh, my, the my butthole hole. looks like a regular butthole. If that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, no, Jason, we're not asking oh. about your butthole. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Name us. Whoa, 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 that was a breach of privacy. I'm sorry, 36. I was quite perturbed by it, yes. Yeah, I thought this was group therapy, man. We were making progress. Disappointing. Disappointing. Me? Very disappointing. No, no, no. Lester I'll Pips. Do the best. <laughs> yeah. No, come back, Lester. Come back. Oh, uh, okay. I saw I saw you wave, so I assume you meant you wanted me to come back. Yes, right? come back. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, what, okay, uh, after the sidebar, are, are things okay? Did, did you... Did uh, uh, Alien One? Did you step in to make Thirty Six forgive me for extra? Yes, yeah, and he he like, like talk some like negative vibe shit. You know, I don't, maybe we all just kind of lean to like just like chill and lean into learning more about these crop symbols that this doo doo cult dude's not an alien, right? No, no. Okay. no. Reggie Man is an alien, right? Yes, three aliens. Lester is a crop circle. No, no, no. All right, let's start over. All right. Okay. This this dude, this dude. Nameless. 36. Number 36. He's not an alien. Correct. Correct. Well, okay. This one yes. is. Yes, yes. All three of them. Uh -huh. Three of them. Lester is. A Pips. A Pips? Yeah. Okay. Like, what, what about you, Kyle? 
Hey, I'm just Kyle. <laughs> right on. Now, uh, number 36. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Kyle was absolutely right. We should find out more about the crop circles you're burning. What made you, what, what does number one want you to do in order to achieve rainbow status? Well, I guess I'm in research and development. I'm kind of the workhorse of the cult. I'm uh, trying to figure out how to bring about the apocalypse, uh, possible options. Uh, not doing very well. This is my second, my second attempt. Uh, you know, I don't know how oh. demons are summoned, but uh, crop circles of pentagrams burning in a cornfield. Not one of them. Very oh, wow. Can I ask you a question? Yes. So you said that you have to work up to the fuck circle. Yes, I think now, I, that might be a lie uh, to not make me feel bad that I'll never get into the fuck circle. But I mean, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, so I like to think there's a chance. No, I'm not interested in the fuck circle. Your human genitalia disgusts me. But if I were an alien, interested that's what in the everyone else about in my cult thinks as well. So, <laughs> right? How do I get in? How do I get myself up to rainbow level? Uh, I mean, you caused the apocalypse. You, you're uh, a number one. So, all right, I got you. I got you. Wow. Uh, 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 uh alien number one. I gotta ask, why do you want into the? Well, Lester, here's what I have to open up to you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. We're not just putting glorbos here on Earth. Uh oh. We are making glorbos on Earth. What? Humans are the secret ingredient to Glorbus. Oh, no. Yes. Hey. That's, that's great why, news. Yeah. That's why our logo is to serve man, parenthesis. Get it. Ha ha. We eat humans. Close parenthesis. <laughs> wow, that's a long logo. That, that's <sighs> our log line. Log line, not. That's not what I meant to say. I don't know what our log line is. I meant to say our slogan. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> well, it's a long slogan. It's a long logo. Whatever you call it. Aliens a sketch writer. <laughs> no, no. We don't have sketch on space. We don't have sketch on space. We perfect it. I want to read that from the alien to one human suits pilot. <laughs> do you Do you want to read my SNL packet? <laughs> can we read it on? Can we read it now? Oh, it's, I it's space like they ask. In space they ask for us. a <laughs> Tell us, tell us each which character to play, and we can quickly read the script that you no, 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 no. <laughs> that was not a good packet. That was not a good packet. I made some Trump jokes. They were dated. It was Orange Man bad. I'm not proud of it. He had a really great character bid for Weekend Update, but I'm not interested in that anymore. Listen, <laughs> the reason why I asked, <laughs> the reason why I asked, is uh -huh. because we are making Earth a Globus factory. Oh yeah. Yes. I started laughing and having fun with you immediately after learning that news. Crazy. Yes. Uh, how, how 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 could you? And nameless number 36. How could you be excited about this? You're human. Yeah, and I'm also starting to think that he said apocalypse which got me rock hard, but then he's just doing alien capitalism by turning humans into like a farm. So it's really more of they're just taking over and using us as cattle, which I guess in a way is a human apocalypse, but not yeah. a world ending apocalypse, which is what I'm trying to bring about. That would just not be profitable for us to end Earth mm -hmm. and also use humans. We need to put a we need to put you guys somewhere, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> we do like to be put places. I know that exactly. <laughs> that is true. We're we're creatures of habit, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Look, yeah. I mean, we're gonna all we're three gonna of us have put ourselves in a position. I've put myself down underground. Kyle's put himself down underneath his stepdad. And Nameless has put himself down underneath the rainbow circle. Well, let's Look. be fair. I, Kyle didn't put himself here. Society did. So if aliens are giving out a bunch of free apartments and stuff, and all I got to do is buy human meat, I'm not saying I'm against it. Listen, what I'm trying to say is this. We oh. are interested in cutting a deal. We want to sponsor an influencer to get humans into the idea of <coughs> becoming cattle. That's why I'm here, Lester, because I knew you were having Kyle on the show. Oh, my God. And because... Can I, dude, can sorry, I send you my lookbook? Do you have a or packet? A lot of it's like hand-drawn with the Sharpie because I didn't have a camera for a big portion of it, but the heart is fucking there. But do you have a self-tape? We need you to send us a self-tape. I can as soon as as soon as my stepdad Mike lets me borrow the VHS camera, I can have one to you in a week. 
That's great. And Luster, it's not just that. 36, okay. we want you to be our CFO. Hey, yeah. I'm a, I, my minor officer? experience in R&D is finally paid off. No, no, no. Chief fucking officer. Oh, okay. Hey, whoa. Wow. Well, exactly. wow that's even better. We're I mean, I don't have any experience of that, but I will gladly rise to the occasion. You're a disruptor, 36. You're disrupting the industry. Thank you. Wow. We're going to make this it. the best globals on Earth. Well, <laughs> Oh my god! I'll convert. Shit, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be I'll serve the aliens. I don't give a fuck. Awesome, wow. great. Well, this is great. Or I world. will give a fuck. <laughs> wow. Well, you're alien, hired. <laughs> alien number one. This is great for my guests, but I gotta ask: Is there a spot in the future for old Lester Pips and my wives, Claire Thrills? And guys, we gotta get a sidebar. Okay. Let's do a sidebar real quick. Okay, okay. I'll go. Oh, man, I don't like talking behind people's back. What? Listen, do you do you guys want me to let Lester into the goop? It's up to you. I feel like that feels like a CFO question. What with the CFO? fuck? Is it? CFO? Hmm. I could fuck Lester. Let him in. That's great. <laughs> Lester, come back. Come back. Uh, I, I see you waving, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to come back. You're what in. You're in. Thank You're God. In. And I can You're bring in. my wives, both of them? Yeah, Sidebar, the everyone. Of <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go. How many wives you can marry? Do the okay. wives come in, too? Do the wives come in, too? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, we haven't met them. You know, I, I don't, I'm not good with strangers. Uh, you know. Uh, that, that's uh, why I'm worried. Yeah, only a couple of nerds would say no to more girls around, you know, but whatever you guys feel comfortable with. All right, Gloucester, we'll come back. We'll try to die and see what you get, right? I see you waving. Uh, are my wives in? Your wives are in. Yes. Okay, and the only way for me to keep my marriage alive is for Idris Elba to join our marriage. Can he come too? Yeah. That's oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's so I don't even need to stop after that one. To get that joke. But uh, can he? Very Idris handsome. Elba come too? That guy's oh, yeah. hot. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, okay. Well, Make that's up the new bond. Wow, I'm so glad that this worked out for all of us. Uh, you know, I am anti-apocalypse, but I'm pro me surviving the apocalypse because that's the only way ultimately that Louisiana culture is going to survive. And I am doing the voice again that I forgot to do for most of the episode. Now, uh, 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 we are at the end of time here. Uh, not the end of time for the world, not quite uh. yet, but the end of time for the show. <laughs> Uh, we each get one minute to talk about our uh, 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 plugs real quick. Um, Kyle, I'm going to start with you. Is there anything on the internet you want people to check out or any last words of advice for the listeners at home? Yeah, man, the best thing you can ever do is just always keep your eyes on all the details. And if you like details, you like a show called Hey LA on Glitter Pizza Cat on YouTube. A couple episodes focusing on some random cultural things in Los Angeles and really bad VO. <laughs> Everybody loves really bad VO. Well, that's great. Uh, it at, feels homey and lived in. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. At Glitter Pizza Cat, Cat on Instagram. Um, going to you next, Aliens 1, 2, and 3, a.k.a. Reggie Man. Uh, same question. I, I know you obviously want to plug Glorbos, of course, but anything online that you want people to check out? Uh, uh, yeah, I got something I want you to check out. I wanted to check out the Joe Rogan experience. Also, follow oh, up no. to that. I want you all to not get is, vaccinated. And, th and thirdly, or alien number one. This is free. This is free. Remember, I I'm know, the. Get, oh, of I course. Know. All right, of course. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Just I don't gonna, want to plug in Joe Rogan on my show. Yeah, so um, here's the thing. If you like uh, Japanese animation, I hear there's a really great podcast called Full Metal Analyst. You can find it wherever you listen to your podcast. It's really fun. Uh, follow up to that. We just talked to the higher ups, the executives, and unfortunately, the project's been canceled. It's really great to hang out with you guys, but we have to cancel the project. There will be no Glorbos on Earth. What? We're, we're, we're pivoting to video. I'm sorry. We're getting wow. into content streaming. That's oh the my God. Wow. Okay, well, I guess that's how it goes. Um, Sorry. I guess that's how it goes. Well, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> nameless cultist number 36. Um, now that you know you're not going to be chief fucking officer of Globo, is, uh, is there anything that you want to plug online? Gotta say, I'm just used to reject rejection at this point in time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I stream uh, three days a week on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, we play Jackbox games with chat. Uh, so check it out. Uh, that sounds fun. That's uh, twitch.tv slash AIPD. 
Yeah, and it's uh, 6 p.m. Pacific. Okay, and you said that you do that. Nameless Cult is number 36. You do that. I do that, yeah. <laughs> okay, right on. Well, great. Uh, and for me, I'll say, if you are watching this channel right now, what you should do is stick around for the next show. It is Please Talk to Me with Ali Ramirez. We're going to leave Twitch just for the end of the show. The little plugs. Don't follow us. It's not worth it. Uh, uh, but do follow at Lester Pips on all the things if you want to know what's up with this show and at Ezra Partier on Instagram if you want to know what's going on with my publicist. Now, we are off Twitch, but we are still going to do the end of the show where I put up uh, this little banner. These are the plugs, at Lester Pips, at Ezra Partier, and of course, Ezra's been plugging this show called at Fake News Comedy, which is on Fridays at 9 p.m. There's also a podcast attached to it with a very fun-sounding guy named Ezra Barbaro. Uh, those are the plugs for me. Here's the end of the show. That was the show. Now we did it. You know how to survive an apocalypse. So now we're going to talk about saying thank you to you. Thank you for watching the show. And thank you to these guests for doing the thing for you tonight or today. And also thank you to the Pack Theater for hosting. Now it's time to say, get out there, survive, and make humanity proud. You can find the show at Lester Pips on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can also find all the video archives on EzraParter.com slash Lester Pips. Please like and subscribe and all those things.